made in Hollywood. It's been said that hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. Right, and in Tyler Perry's latest movie, Acrimony, Taraji P. Henson stars as a long-suffering wife, hell-bent on getting some payback from the man who's done her wrong. Hi, I'm Taraji P. Henson. I'm Lyric Bent. You're watching Made in Hollywood. And uh, check out this scene from Acrimony, the movie. He was beautiful. Gotta give him that. That was everything he needed me to be. I renamed this movie, Girl, Let Go. <laughs> well, that's what happens when you don't. How did you take this script and these words when you first heard about it? Well, Tyler first dangled this carrot in front of my face. It's your Glenn Close moment in Fatal Attraction. Ah, send the script. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I read it and I just, it was just brilliant. I just, you know, if I can get past 10 pages of a script, you got me. Yeah. But if you walk out that door, you will not come back. I, you know, I, co I counsel a lot of my friends, and, I, and I, I'm always fascinated how she'll tell me something and he'll tell me something, and it's two different stories, but they both of the same experience. So that's where the nugget of it started, and then I started to just let go with it and let her run, let Melinda run and become who she wanted to be. He wouldn't cheat on you, would he? He's not touching me, so if he's not getting it from me, he's getting it from somewhere. I read it as an audience member. Um, and I just thought, wow, so many topics that it's touching on, you know, just felt like a very important piece of cinematography. And I didn't know he wanted me to do it while I was filming Cookie. We filmed this movie in eight days and we filmed our portion in five. I'd never done that ever in my career. And you've worked with Tyler before. Yes. Which is why I thought she's done this before. Oh. <laughs> so, I've never. You know, so when I heard she, I was like, wow, okay, so now I'm even more impressed, you know. So, yeah. it's yeah, it was crazy. It was crazy. Good crazy. You lie and you cheat. I'm Diana, Robert's fiance. True confession, I lost control of my mouth. Really? At the movie? Yes. Really? really? Is that kind of the goal? I mean, to get people involved? Listen, I just want to tell a story. To see people involved and, and losing it, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Once you walk up, once you walk up to about right here, you just let it go to that moment with them, okay? Okay. Great, let's roll. As an audience member, I lost control of my mouth. I Me mean, too, and I'm in it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a fun little ride in that way. Yeah. Have you guys seen it with an audience yet? No, no. not yet. Okay. Yeah, not yet. Tuesday's the day, the premiere. I'm so excited. It's a lot going on. Yeah, take your time. Mm -hmm. Ready. And smaller, much smaller. Mm -hmm. Ready? Ready and action. This is probably the dumbest question I've ever asked, but why is she the one you chose to be Melinda? Oh, did you see the movie? Yes, I mean, come absolutely. on, come on. Taraji, I told you it was a dumb question. Yeah, Taraji, <laughs> Taraji, there was no one who could have played this role. Like, Taraji laid and she settled into this woman. She became her, she just, she, it was, it, it was really amazing to see and she nailed it, she nailed it. Robert, you really bring her here? You bring her to my sister's house? The whole idea with him is like, he's got this dream, mm -hmm and like he's going for it right and a lot of people in the world would probably say robert dude give it up and right. go work at cvs right but he held on to that dream right. was that something a little nugget of something that you also oh, for my yeah for sure there are people who told me it's never going to work don't do it just uh, hold on and then and then when it hit all those other people who 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 you know were saying it's never going to work are like what the hell just happened so yeah for him he's 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 definitely part of my story a dream is something that uh you don't really control uh, it's a very passionate thing, and um, when you're fueled by passion, you sometimes neglect the ones that you love, and you don't realize it. Um, it happens to us as actors. Um, it's not an easy business, and when you're trying to uh, accomplish something that is not necessarily totally in your control, you got to be fueled by something. So, um, yeah, my character was a was a dreamer. You ever considered that maybe there's another way to look at this? Maybe he did mean what he said. And then finally, what do you want people to walk away out of the theater thinking about this movie? This movie is about letting go. It is a cautionary tale about what happens when you don't let go. And it's a beautiful metaphor for me at the end of it, when she, when, when the thing happens at the end, it's a metaphor of being chained to something and anchored to it and you can't get out of it and you're drowning in it. So, so I want people to just uh, walk away feeling like you can do better. He owes me. You think he owes you? Every damn breath in his body.